Can we afford to stay here? We've been living here in Madeira for over two years now, and it's that time of the year again where we break down our monthly cost of living. From the essentials to luxury items, we're breaking down the numbers to give you an idea of what it costs to live the Madeiran dream, whether you're contemplating a move here or just to satisfy your curiosity. So let's dive into the numbers. Welcome back to Track Us Down. If you're just finding us, I'm Monique. And I'm Doug. Our channel is all about retiring early, moving abroad, but mostly living a better second half of life. And we started our better second half of life in October of 2021 by moving here to the beautiful island of Madeira, Portugal. So back when we moved here, costs were quite different. The cost for renting an apartment, purchasing a home, or even a car, things have gone up quite a bit. Today, we are gonna take a look at beyond that, the day-to-day -day items of daily living and what our cost of living is here, January, 2024. We're sharing these numbers with you because they are a typical, enjoyable retirement, whether you're coming to live abroad or work abroad. Back in January of 2022, we did a complete cost of living review. Actually, we did it for several months running, just to give ourselves and you reassurance that we, or you could live here on a retiree's budget. And then we did a one-year comparison in January of 2023, looking back at 22. And here we are again, one year later, 2024, to do the same comparison again for the cost of living. I can't believe it's been a whole another year already. Where does the time go? Let's get into it. The first category is housing rent. When we first arrived in Madeira in late 2021, we rented an apartment. So when we did our first January cost of living in 2022, we had the cost of the apartment, which was 1,184 euro. We since then purchased a home and no longer have that cost, but they did raise the rent to 1,300 euro the moment we left so that we could see that the prices were already on the rise. So for sake of this video, because we do not have a cost to our housing other than maintenance and insurance and that kind of thing, and we'll get into that later, the cost for rent is what on the island now? We took a look on Idealista and a couple other sites for just a typical two bedroom in sort of an expat friendly walking area. A lot of people like when they first get here to be lower down, whether that's in San Martino or Say or Old Town. So we took a look at five T2 apartments, one starting at 850 euros, which was an older apartment, older appliances, older area, older building, right up until whatever else we could find as the prices increase. They, they range from about 850 for the lowest to at least 1,800, which would have been sort of the price range we were looking at. So we took a look at those five apartments and the average price for a T2 that we could find was about 1,450 euro. Of course, there are apartments, T2, even T1, way higher than that if your budget allows for us. But we were looking at sort of the typical budget that we would have. We've definitely noticed that the prices for rental have gone up significantly. Even when they raised it to 1300 after we left, I'm sure that same apartment would probably easily be about 1400 or 1500 euros now if it was a larger T2. Prices have gone up for rent, but it's not just the price that's going up. Many people, that's well within their budget if they're looking at retiring here, moving to Portugal. It's the scarcity of availability that's becoming a problem. Whenever there's something listed that's in somebody's budget or a nice area or newer, there are literally dozens of applications for that one apartment. It is becoming so hard to find a rental. They just get snapped up so fast. So you do have to work with a real estate agent here to find a rental. And if you are planning on coming to Madeira and would like a contact, please don't hesitate to ask for ours. Next up is Wi-Fi, data, and TV. Now this has remained relatively stable over the two, three years that we've been here. It was originally about 71 euros for unlimited data for two cell phones anywhere in Europe, <laughs> plus 5G high-speed in-home Wi-Fi and over 200 channels of TV. Last year, it dropped to about 62 euros, and we just got a letter saying that due to typical expenses and inflation, it's going up by about 4%. So we're gonna be back up to around 71 euros for all three services. Still not bad at all. And like Doug said, 
that data is good all through Europe. And we have used our data on the mainland and in Switzerland and in other countries, Italy included. And that is great. But when we travel back to North America, we do need to have another plan. So if you're looking for an eSIM, we have a $3 discount for you in the description box below. Air Elo, it is fantastic almost anywhere in the world. Our next category is dining out and Funchal and Madeira in general have amazing restaurants. So dining out is something we enjoy doing alone and with our friends, of course. Back in January of 2023, we reported we had spent 315 euros on dining out in January. And this month was a little higher. It was 376 euros. But having said that, January was a month where we spent a lot of time heading out to dinner with friends and exploring different restaurants. There's so many here to choose from, no matter what your preferences are, no matter what your tastes are. It just seems like our dining out has been creeping up every month. And I think a lot of that is to do with the people that we meet through our YouTube who are coming to Madeira and we end up going out for lunch or for dinner. And it starts to add up pretty quick. So I think going forward, we're gonna try just cooking at home more. Let's well, we do cook a lot at home, I think. We do. Yeah. A lot of the eating out tends to be part of the activity. Whether you're going for a hike, then you go for a lunch. Whether you're doing something else, you kind of add on the eating out part. But dining out is extremely enjoyable here in Funchal and Madeira in general. I think in your retirement or your long-term visits here to Madeira, you're going to find yourself eating out at restaurants quite a bit. But the prices are nowhere near as expensive as they are in North America and other parts of the world. It's a real treat here. And if you're interested in restaurants in Funchal or Madeira, and would like our take on it, please consider joining our Patreon where we have an entire list of restaurants and reviews and it'll really help you out if you're coming on holiday or if you're contemplating moving here. And then there are utilities, water, gas, electricity, house insurance. Last year in January, 2023, for some reason, we only reported on electricity, which was averaging about 64 euros. We do have a monthly water bill. I don't know why we didn't report on it. And of course we have house insurance, but the prices may surprise you. This year on average for electricity, especially with our solar panels, our average electricity bill each month was around 40 euros. And for water, we're averaging around 1850 per month. It's so inexpensive. Our house insurance for total comprehensive, including earthquake, we did experience an earthquake here a couple of years ago, is about 32 euros and 88 cents per month. So all in all, in total for our utilities, no gas is just water, electricity and house insurance we're averaging around 91 euros per month. Our next category is subscriptions and memberships. It's remaining relatively same for 2022 and 2023 at around 64 euros a month for Netflix, Spotify, and two gym memberships. Our gym memberships are around 21 euros per month each and Spotify has been creeping up a little bit along with Netflix. This year, we also added a basic Garmin subscription for all the hiking that we do here on the island and on the mainland. We just thought that it would be good for peace of mind. We do have a Garmin inReach, so that costs us about 20 euros per month. So normally it's been around 64 to 68 euros per month for the last two years. This year with the Garmin, the extra 20, we're averaging about 85 euros per month for subscriptions and memberships. Our next category is groceries. Now we've reported on this monthly, a whole bunch of times when we were doing our monthly cost of living, but their first monthly cost of living for January, 2022, our groceries were coming in at 319 euro for January, 2022. And by January, 2023, grocery prices were increasing. And we did a whole comparison video of the grocery prices and how they had gone up. And for January, 2023, we spent 401 euro on groceries. This includes everything we buy to cook at home. It also includes wine, beer, anything we buy at the grocery store. And this year it has increased slightly as well. This year for January, we spent 409 euros at the grocery store. So our price is going up on Madeira for groceries. I think prices are going up anywhere in the world just due to inflation, but a lot of it comes down to the choices that you make. I think for us, it has remained relatively stable, small increases here or there, you can always cut back. But overall, I think our prices for groceries are relatively stable. So although prices have increased slightly, we're definitely more savvy shoppers. And I think that's why there's only a slight increase in groceries. 
Next up is healthcare, something everybody wants to know about. So our cost in this category is absolutely zero. If you've watched our previous videos, we did have healthcare for our D7 that lasted a year and we were contemplating letting it go. And we did do a whole healthcare video about our cost for healthcare, which was absolutely reasonable for private healthcare. We did make the decision though, that that wasn't something we were gonna hang on to. And I think it's the right decision for us. We don't have a lot of um, complex health problems. We don't use the health services really. But we did have a friend share with us that as she was sick one night, she got really, really sick and was very worried and called an ambulance for herself and ended up going to hospital. All said and done, that ambulance ride was 20 euro. She ended up being absolutely fine. We have heard many stories like this where the cost of the public health care is very, very reasonable. And it's usually just a small copay. So at the end of the day, it'll be your choice whether you want to go with public health care here or private. Portugal has both. They're both phenomenal. For us, we didn't see the need to go with private healthcare, and I think many people are going that route. Our next category is transportation. Now, for transportation, we're including the three main gas, parking, and car insurance. In January of 2022, when we did our first cost of living budget, we included public transportation buses. We don't take the bus really anymore at all. Once in a while, we'll take a Bolt, which is another version of Uber, but that's very rare. That's if we're going to the airport or something like that. Usually it's the parking in the big hotels that might cost a little bit extra. The gas is a little bit more. So the first year we paid altogether 75 euros for that. The second year in 2023, we paid 127 euros. I think we were doing more parking here and there. And this year we paid in January, 2024, 75 euros. Parking overall is really inexpensive on the streets here on Madeira at Infunchal. It's going into the parking lots, the underground parking lots of the big hotels where the prices add up. The more you go out and park there, the more you're going to pay. But overall transportation costs are very reasonable. Okay. Next up, we have activities. Last year in January of 2023, we reported zero euros for activities. And again, that doesn't mean that we weren't doing anything. It's just that most of the activities that you do here on the island are free. Usually it's some kind of festival. This year in January 2024, once again, we're reporting zero euros for activities. It's probably just a little bit more than that. Honestly, if I go play tennis during the weekdays for an hour or so, it's two euros for the hour, which you split with the other player. So you're spending maybe a euro for tennis here overlooking the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. Activities really don't cost that much. There's just so much nature here. And we're not living a touristy lifestyle. When we do have guests, we do do the more touristy things, whether that's museums or going to a teleferique or a wine tasting. And we do enjoy those things. January tends to be a quiet month, though. We've just had Christmas. We've just had New Year's. So we've been doing a lot of, like Doug said, nature things outside, hiking, walking, and then, of course, the dining out, which is kind of an activity. Oftentimes it's game nights and getting together at people's homes and enjoying friends that way. Our last category is sort of the catch-all category called other. And our first cost in other is just things that are groceries or transportation or that kind of thing. Things like buying new clothes, heading to the pharmacy, picking up stuff for around the house, cleaning supplies, all that kind of stuff. And that came to 513 euro and 80 euro cent. That also includes gardening supplies, small appliances, items we purchase for around the house. And of course, in other is Leo. And Leo has vet costs. In January, we like to do a whole checkup for Leo and get him all sorted out and his medication sorted out. And our costs for January for the vet were 181.45. A next subcategory of other would be donations. This month we donated approximately 45 euro to cause that we feel passionate about. There seems to be a lot of uncared for stray dogs on the island and that's something close to our heart and we did donate uh, 45 euros to that. Stray dogs, stray animals seem to be a little bit of an issue. We've noticed, I think we've rescued four dogs just in January here which is unprecedented. They do need food. They do need shelter. They do need some medical care. So we're happy to help some of these animals out. So for a total for the other category, it was 740 euro and 25 euro cent. So what does that bring us to for the grand total for January of 2024? For our costs for January 2024, 
it was 1,846 euros and 10 euro cents. If you were to add in the rental costs that we had mentioned at the beginning of this video, that would give you a grand total of 3,296 euro and 10 euro cents. So how has that gone up from when we first moved here? What were we budgeting for the first year, the second year, if we were including rent? We were budgeting somewhere around 4,000 euro. You can live for so much less here on Madeira. Even the budget that we have here for this month, we're continually working on lowering that, making smarter choices, maybe not dining out as much. More than anything, we enjoy being in our home and just living our daily lives here. We do enjoy going out and like we mentioned, activities are plentiful and they're not expensive and we are loving our Madeiran dream. And we hope that this has given you some numbers that maybe you can work with, whether you're coming to Madeira or generally in Portugal, or if you're just curious as to what someone's cost of living is in a different country. For more information on living a better second half of life, whether that's here in Madeira, Portugal, or wherever you choose, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications for our channel. This is what we talk about on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with us today. And as always, check back in and track us down.